Uh, shalom, shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, glories, and honors unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the church of Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere, hopeful elect, the house of David. You brothers out there prophesying in the true name and the true doctrine about the times we're in ahead of two. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. My name is Kudash Paya. In this lesson, I just wanted to go into uh, Luke, St. Luke 18, about um, the, the, the widow, right? The parable of the widow and the unjust judge. And because we are, you know, as that, that woman that, you know, that's, that's, that's crying out unto the Lord. Now let's get into it. The book of St. Luke chapter 18 verse 1, it says, And he spake a parable unto them to this, to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, right? So we're, so we're supposed to always pray. There's a precept that says, you know, pray without season. So we have to always be in that mindset of crying unto the Lord. You know, to deliver us from all things, you know, on a daily basis and especially the times, you know, of all prophecies to be fulfilled to come. Jacob's trouble, you know, just pray unto the Lord to guide you, you know, give you wisdom, strength, whatever, whatever you may need. Ask upon him. It says in the true name, it says saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God. Neither regarded man. So he didn't have, this judge didn't have fear upon the Lord. Neither regarded man. Right? And uh, let me get that. I want to get that word real quick. So if you don't fear the Lord, you're not going to do that which is pleasing in his sight. Which will make you a wicked ass judge. You know, because you're not caring. Right? Um, basically, it's to turn about a reverence, a person, to be ashamed, to shame one, right? So when you give uh, reverence to someone, it's like it, let me go back. You give reverence to someone, you're showing deep care for for. For their wishes or what they're going through, right? Um, so it says, And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And it's funny because what? We pray unto the Lord to avenge us from our adversaries, right? Because we are the Lord's women, you know? Symbolically, we are the Lord's women. And to prove that real quick, let me get the scripture where it states, this is um, real quick, the book of Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 2. It says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman, right? So we are that woman that's pleading unto the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, so this is St. Luke chapter 18 and verse 3 again. It says, And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would and he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. So she was wearying him. She was tiring him out. You know, she kept telling him. You know, basically, he started to feel annoyed. Like, yo, she keeps telling me this. I keep saying no, like, but she keeps coming back. Avenge me of my adversary, pleading. You know, and the scriptures speak about how uh, basically the Lord is going to avenge them that cry day and night unto him. Right, which is what uh, the the elect, the men of the Lord, and you may have women and children, I believe, but it it starts, in uh, in for the order's sake, by the men on down, from the apostles on down, you know, who are pleading, day and night, 
that the Lord avenge us from our adversaries to get up get us up out of here you know and, and to speed the time so righteousness could be restored on earth you know and that he finds us worthy right so we are like that woman that's constantly uh, 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 pleading unto the Lord please you know and and uh, uh, that he avenge us in our daily trials and tribulations as a matter of fact I'm gonna get another precept Real quick, I just want to get Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. So when you make someone's ears heavy, you know, it's like they're tired of hearing your request. <laughs> and it's and, and us as sons of, of, of the Lord, you know, as children constantly pleading to our father, you know, after a while the Lord is going to grant you that, you know, letting your supplication be known, man. You know, that's why the, the, in the first verse, it speaks about, you know, praying always. Um, it says, yeah, because this widow troubled me, I, I will avenge her. Lest by her continual coming, she weary me. And the Lord, and the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect? Right? Which cry day and night unto him though he bear long with them you know though it tarry wait for it for it shall co surely come it will not tarry and that's anything man because you know at the end of the day the lord deals you know with with with, with us as sons you know, like a father to his his sons man eventually you know he'll bless you you know you just pray to pray to the true name be sincere about it you know, like the scriptures say, you have not because you ask not, roughly paraphrasing, right? Um, you know, it, it says, verse 7, no, verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? So there you go, man. So sometimes, you know, you pray, things don't happen right away, but... You got to be patient, you know, and have faith that the Lord will uh, uh, vindicate you. He will come through. You know, as long as you're doing right by him, doing what you got to do, he sees that. And, you know, he hears the cries of his of his men, man. Like it tells you in, in Sarat where it states, you know, the prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds. Roughly paraphrasing, Right? And, you know, you're praying in the Hebrew in the true name. And, you know, the Lord definitely hears. And, you know, we in that time where we got to pray more, you know, because prophecies is, 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 is popping. <laughs> is there just back to back, like the eighth and ninth month of a woman ready to give birth, them trimesters, you know, the gaps, the shortening, you know. So, hey, man, I just wanted to bring that out. We are as that woman consistently pleading unto the Lord. Make the Lord's ears heavy, man. You know, cry unto him, man. You know, he's the only one that can save you. Remember that. Anyway, with that, I'm going to give all praises, honors, and glories. Unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Makak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Church of Great Millstone. Shalom to the sister of hope for a light. I hope this lesson was edifying. And remember, she was even pleading unto the unjust judge. And the Lord put the spirit in him to, you know what I'm saying, finally grant her. So we in the midst of our enemies now, you know. Just wanted to say that. Anyway, with that, Shalom.